I think the important thing is the selection of a person who, if the circumstances should develop, uh, could be qualified uh, to handle the presidency. And in this case, uh, Mr. Rockefeller is a man who is eminently qualified, in my judgment, if circumstances should uh, require it, uh, for him to take over the, uh, the job. But the question for Democrats of 76 is a serious one politically, is it not? The question for Democrats in 76 is the same question that it is in 74. The responsibility of uh, confirming the right man to handle not only the vice presidency, but if circumstances should dictate the presidency of the United States. Senator, Senator do you have any misgivings at all about the Rockefeller nomination? Well, it's, it's not going to set well with the conservatives in the Republican Party. And I warned the president about that, and I'm sure that he understood it. Uh, we are, uh, in other words, it's, it's, it's going to be a little task on the part of all of us to uh, try to help him over the rough spots of not a complete unified reception amongst all Republicans. What kind of time problem does the uh, governor's financial holdings present to his confirmation? Not enormous seriousness. I imagine that he would, uh, I'm guessing, but I assume that he will submit a full and complete statement of his assets and liabilities. Those would be subjected to the same careful scrutiny that we uh, did with uh, Vice President Ford's confirmation. And uh, while there'll be hundreds of items on there, I suppose the experts who look at it will pick out the ones on, they want to address themselves to especially. Uh, a man who's been governor of New York for 15 years has already resisted all of the efforts of those who would like to smear him. And so we've got a sort of a double Mr. Clean ticket, in my opinion, Mr. Clean and Mr. Clean.